Inserting an LMA, laryngeal mask airway, such as the eye gel, in a neonate is a specialized procedure that should be performed by trained healthcare professionals, often in emergency or critical care settings. Below are the general steps for the insertion of an eye gel in a neonate, along with the advantages and disadvantages of using an LMA. Insertion of eye gel LMA in a neonate. Please note that this description is for informational purposes only and is not a substitute for proper medical training. Always follow your institution's guidelines and seek assistance from a qualified healthcare provider when performing such procedures. Advantages of using an LMA such as eye gel. Ease of insertion. LMAs like the eye gel are generally easier to insert compared to endotracheal tubes making them valuable in emergencies or when rapid airway management is required. Reduced risk of trauma. LMAs are less invasive than endotracheal intubation, which reduces the risk of trauma to the delicate neonatal airway. Improved airway seal. The eye gel is designed to create an effective seal around the laryngeal inlet, minimizing the risk of aspiration and providing better ventilation. Less discomfort. LMAs are generally better tolerated than endotracheal tubes, as they don't pass through the vocal cords and cause less irritation. Quick placement. In urgent situations, an LMA can be inserted more rapidly than a traditional endotracheal tube, ensuring rapid ventilation. Use in non-elective scenarios. LMAs can be used effectively in situations where intubation may not be feasible or appropriate, such as out-of-hospital settings or when specialized equipment is not readily available. Disadvantages of using an LMA Risk of displacement LMAs may not provide as secure an airway seal as endotracheal tubes, and there's a risk of displacement during movement or if the patient is not properly secured. Limited protection from aspiration while LMAs offer some protection against aspiration, they may not be as effective as endotracheal intubation, especially in cases of regurgitation. Not suitable for all cases, LMAs are not appropriate for all neonatal patients, particularly those with certain airway abnormalities or severe respiratory distress where endotracheal intubation may be required. Limited control over ventilation. Ventilating through an LMA may not provide the same level of control over tidal volumes and ventilation as endotracheal intubation. Risk of gastric insufflation. If the LMA is not placed properly, there is a risk of insufflating air into the stomach, potentially leading to gastric distension and regurgitation. Size selection. Choosing the correct LMA size is critical for a proper seal and ventilation. Inaccurate sizing can lead to complications. It's important to emphasize that the choice between using an LMA or endotracheal intubation in neonates depends on the clinical scenario, the skill and experience of the healthcare provider, and the specific needs of the patient. Proper training, assessment, and adherence to institutional guidelines are essential for safe and effective airway management in neonatal patients.